everyone welcome back to coding tricks so in this session we are going to see how can we write the javascript code and how can we execute it and all we will see so first thing where to write the script where to write the script coding javascript code we will see so we can write this javascript coding in two ways Sorry, three ways. We can write it in body part. Either we can write it in body part, or we can write it in head part, or we can write it in both body and head part. Both the all the ways we can write. So let us see a simple example. So I am going to show you a simple example for you. Which first thing I have written in the head part. And I will paste this code over here. See here. So in the head part, I have written the scripting here. So this script uh, defines that we are writing the JavaScript code. Then here I have written function body of the function. So what if I have clicked on the function? Or what if I have clicked on the button? What you are going to do? I will tell. So see here. In the body part, I have written button type equal to button and click equal to my function. So what I am doing here is I am creating a button over here and I am calling the and, and I am creating a, and I am using a event here on click event. That means when you are clicking on the button, this event will be raised. And what is this event? Is doing this calling a function called my function. So if you call this function, where it will go? It will go to here. So here I have written actual the actual part. That means what if what what this function is going to do? So what this function is going to do? Document dot get element by id. We have seen this document dot get element by id in the previous video, right? So and the, this will be changed. So document dot get element by id dot inner html I have used. So what I am doing here is this a paragraph will be that means whatever the element whatever the value in the demo demo whatever value we are having in that here a paragraph we are having a paragraph right. So this will be changed to paragraph changed. That means what I'm going to tell you here is when you clicked on the button, event will be raised. After raising the event, we'll call a function called my function. And after calling the function, then it will execute this function, the body part. Whatever we have written in the body part, it will execute. So what I have written dot document dot get element by id demo. So demo here I have written. So demo we can see here, right? So that means for the paragraph I have written here, this should be changed. Paragraph a paragraph a paragraph should be changed with paragraph changed. So can you expect the output? So first you will get a button. First thing you will get JavaScript in head. Then you will get a paragraph, then you will get a button, try it button. When you click on this try it button, then this function will be executed. Then you will get paragraph changed. So let us see the output. I will show you the yes. So here it is. So I will open. Then JavaScript here you can see JavaScript in hand. Here you can see a paragraph, right? So this should be changed. Paragraph changed. So this is how we can write it in the head part. So we can also write it in the body part, right? So I will give you one more example to write it in the body part. So same thing you can write it in the body part also. So see, here I have written in the body part, body, H2, JavaScript in body, same, a paragraph, button type equal to button, 
concrete equal to my function try it then script function so i have closed the script here and ended the body here html here so same way it is executed so javascript in body will come there a paragraph will come here again the button will create a button then it will call my function after calling the my function it will go to my function here then what is there in my function it is changing demo value so this demo part uh, in the demo part you will get as a paragraph a paragraph will be changed to paragraph change then it is closed so you can also see the same output over here so you will get the same see here if you click on try it you can you will change it to paragraph changed so this is how you can write it in the body part so these are the two ways which we have seen right if in any case in if in any case you can if you want to write in both the body parts and in head, head part you can write and one more way also i'll show to you so i if i want to copy this in other page sorry in other file so i will cut this then i'm going to paste it in javascript.js here I have pasted it so i'm going to write here as what i will write here is where is the script i have written like script src equal to so i have given the name as here you can see javascript.js so javascript dot js then this is where i have i'm going to write the script that means i'm linking the script to uh, the other file so you can also give i will tell you the other way also. so this is how you can write i'm going to save this then i'm going to run this program see here it is a paragraph i'm clicking on try it it is changing to paragraph changed so why what is the use of writing it to the other page in other file is you have so many advantages see if i am going to write here all the code like html code css code javascript code all the way i am writing all the code here is uh, then it will get into clumsy and we will get, we, there is lot of opportunities to make mistakes right so if you are uh, keeping it in the other file if you are uh, doing it in the coding part is in the other file then it will make you easy to understand and it is a good habit also so this is how you can write and then if you are writing this in javascript code in other sheet then like if you are uh, writing within the folder itself like if you are writing html code and javascript code and uh, css code within the within the location itself then you can write in this way or else if you are writing it in the other file other folder then you will write the full path of that javascript code here so this is how you can write the javascript so this scripting script tag is necessary to write the javascript so this is how you will write thank you everyone i hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe thank you